And as the storm got worse and worse, I figured I had, I wouldn't have any place to live. I was fortunate enough to stay at Secret Heart for the hurricane. It was a pretty traumatic experience, but I felt safe in the church because I knew I had somebody watching over me. And as the storm got worse and worse, I figured I had, I wouldn't have any place to live. But by the grace of God, my house, I moved in the day after electricity. I say it's by the grace of God. I figured I was watching his house, he watched mine. I guess we traded, which is good. I've lived yeah. through Betsy. I lived in Grand Isle in 1966. I was seven years old in Betsy. And just, uh, I just remember as a kid how much, how much damage there was. And, now when I see the kids here, I'm, you know, I feel, I feel their pain because they, they're so confused. You know, as adults, we, we expect, we know it's coming. How you tell a child that they lost everything they own is just, it's just heartbreaking. So I've been working at the church uh, since the day of, after the hurricane, trying to help other people. Like I said, especially the children, because I know they, they must be so confused. Because I remember as a, as a child how confused I was. I mean, we didn't have much to start. And then when you go back to Grand Isle, everything is gone. You have no house, you have no clothes, you have, you have nothing. You have to rely on the goodness of others. So that's what I'm trying to do is give back for when I was younger. Well, Father Greg decided we was going to start doing mass right away. So after we came out of Mass one day, we had no intentions of distributing stuff. We had no intentions of giving food. We didn't, for Greg and I, we never discussed anything. We walk outside, there's a guy with a trailer, a good friend of ours that comes to our Bible class with a trailer full of supplies. And he said, people need this, let's give it out. So we started giving it out and we didn't know what to do. So we let people, we just put it on the, on the street and let them just take what they wanted. And then as we, days, piled up, people started bringing us stuff, and then we got a little more organized, and today we're feeding up to 3,500 people a day, and we've probably given, I don't know, I'm sure we probably gave out over a million dollars of groceries so far. But a generosity, 80% is from regular people, like me and you, that are just coming with their trucks, bringing stuff, and I don't have a lot, but I got stuff, and it's like, it don't take a lot. We just start from a little bit, and we keep putting it together, and it makes a lot, and. It seems to be working out. Everything's, it, everything's are getting better.